hi this is akash dane from smart vrc and as i have said uh, you all are put in mute mode during the question answer session i will give you an option to unmute yourself so the today's topic is three thumb rules for mega success in stock market yes these are the thumb rules but each one of these may appear to be very simple uh, but is pretty difficult to execute and that is where we are there to help you so to start with i want your inputs and what are your best three thumb rules for success what are your best three thumb rules for success in stock market please uh right in the chat box what thumb rules you use in stock market wait and uh, patience okay uh stay invested till fundamentals are intact excellent okay that is also a very good thumb rule uh not to take any loans yes very good excellent and then uh mr devang kumar from saudi arabia he says that patience entry and exit knowledge long term approach okay okay stay invested stay no oh, sorry stay invested stock allocation and long term only yeah perfect uh, part profit booking when 100% profit mm -hmm. okay that is also a thumb rule and excellent management okay enter after breakout exit moving average mm -hmm. uh but uh, here we are we are uh, always talking about the fundamentals so we may not be uh, we may not be discussing about the technicals and the charts and breakouts good profit of the company promoters company area of operation okay that is for stock picking yes investment in quality management stocks mm -hmm. so uh, one more is there and uh, that is uh long term investment diversified portfolio keep profit booking okay mm -hmm. have patience all right good growth runway mm -hmm. keep updating yourself and keep learning uh okay buy monopoly businesses mm -hmm. weightage yes weightage plays a very good a very um, crucial role in fact growth story allocation and stop loss mm -hmm. invest same stock at least 10% fall considering fundamental stock company all right book profit time to time mm -hmm. but how more than 20% down then average okay. stay invested those stocks are stable in bear market and long term investing correct okay <laughs> follow mr asnari yes mr mohit good advisor to follow all right having the right guru very much required at least until unless you become seasoned and then quality stocks patience long term investment buy stock which has sound story so these were the uh, these are the thumb rules uh, which you all are following it and there are certain other thumb rules also which you may not be knowing it consciously unconsciously you use yes look back and you will find that and there are also or the things which you say that these are the thumb rules but at times you don't follow so thumb rules have to be followed 
very religiously so let's uh, begin there is no such thing that this thumb rule is correct or this thumb rule is not correct everybody has its own opinion own thumb rules what matters is the consistent creation of wealth in the long term that thumb rule is correct so uh, this webinar will have broadly speaking four parts three will be dedicated to thumb rule number 1 thumb rule number 2 and thumb rule number 3 and to be followed by question and answer session so the first is whole top 16 diversified stories i have written 16 but it can go up to 18 also because statistically it is proved that 17 stocks are sufficient to give you the reasonably good diversification beyond that you may not get significant advantage of reduction in risk stock specific risk anyway market specific risk cannot be diversified away you have to live with that and you have to you have to manage that risk but stock specific risk can be reduced to a bare minimum by having 17 diversified stories this word has great meaning diversified because diversified means diversified in terms of the business groups you one should not have all uh, all the stocks from a single group for example one should not have all the stocks from sdfc group or one should not have all from tatas or from amanis or from adanis etc etc that is one part secondly diversification in terms of the sectors yes there are various sectors like cement steel many many sectors infrastructure pharmaceutical it technology these are different different finance these are different different sectors so you must keep diversified portfolio in terms of the business group in terms of the sectors you are invested in terms of what else can be there in terms of the allocation yes you should allocate uh, in a very in a very meticulous way so that if the stock falls you should not have that much of impact on your portfolio but if the stock rises by multi multifold then it should have a reasonably significant i should say rather impact what i mean to say is like this suppose you have a you have a uh, you have found out one stock which has a potential for say 50 times in 10 years and if you put a 2% weightage if you allocate 2% weightage because if a stock has a potential for 50 times definitely it must have uh, an associated risk also at this stage so if you put 2% weightage then and we also know that we are not going to hold it till it becomes zero so the maximum chances of uh, of loss in the portfolio would be about 0.75% or at the most 1% even if you hold for 50% loss but at the same time gains can be 50 times so that is how you have to you have to make a trade off so there is one one more way of diversification also diversification in terms of Large cap, mid cap, small cap. In terms of beta, there can be number of ways to diversify. And uh, one more thing, I one more word I used is stories. You should be able to explain why you are holding this stock just in two minutes. Just in two minutes, tell me why you are holding this stock. Maybe, uh, maybe like like for uh, in today's. scenario if you are talking about tata lexi what holds good for tata lexi in times to come why you want to hold this stock what this company does why its prospects are good what is the valuation that is the story what is the management what the management thinks about the future what is the order book this is all story so you should have 16 to 18 diversified stories and each story should be so exciting so exciting that you just don't want to sell and also these stocks should be below at least 20% below its worth i hope you all understand 
the difference between the price and worth, worth of the stock should always be more than the price when you are entering. At least 20% difference should be there. And over a period of time, the worth of the stock may rise depending on the results, depending how good the results are, how good the order book keeps on uh, increasing. And that is how the price also increases and worth also increases. The moment there is a lot of speculation or a lot of, a lot of market up move, it is quite possible that your stock price may move above the worth. Even at that point of time, it is not the time to sell. You should try to exit the stock as soon as the stock price moves at least 20% above the worth. And even at that point, you try to exit in different phases because it is quite possible that there is something which you may not be knowing, which adds to the story, but there are insiders uh, there are the people in the know, or there is something which is not known to you, but known to many people. And that is why the stock is rising. That is why I say always exit in phases. So that is the point number two regarding the 16 diversified stories. And the point number three is keep searching for stories better than the least good story. So you have 16 diversified stories in your portfolio. Definitely you can you can um, you can stand them in a chronological order in a sense which is the best story in terms of all respects in terms of valuation also what is the second best what is the third best like this and there will be one 15th best and 16th best also so you should always look for a story which is better than the 16th best story always always keep searching keep searching that is the best way to hold 16 diversified stories, best stories, top stories. And let the market go wherever it wants to. You should always look for the best story. That is the way, that is a part of the thumb rule number one, which I say is hold top 16 diversified stories. Thumb rule number two is remain 100% invested always. Yes, this I keep on saying, remain 100% invested always. Often people ask me, so what should I do? Should I book some profit? Yes, you should book profit, but you replace that stock with some other exciting story, some other more exciting story. So what I mean to say is, Whatever you are booking the profit, you replace it with some other stock. Just plainly, just for the sake of profit booking, don't sell the stock. There are certain advantages of remaining 100% invested. If you are not 100% invested, suppose you have a cash of 20% with you, 20% of the year portfolio size, then you will always think of when will the market come down. And if the market doesn't come down, then what will happen? So there is an opportunity cost. Just imagine almost two years ago on 24th of March, 2020, Sensex was falling freely. And I know many, many investors who were sitting on cash and they were waiting for the opportunity time. But at that time, no one knew that 24th March would be the bottom. So, and immediately it shoot up from 24th of March onwards, it shoot up like anything. Sensex turned back and those who were waiting, they kept on waiting and still they are waiting. So what is the opportunity? Loss, 120% in two years. Sensex has gone up from 26,000 to presently about 57,000, 58,000. So that is more than 120% loss. That is a loss, potential loss. So don't do that. No one can predict the market. Don't bother that others will be moving ahead of you in terms of generating returns merely by predicting the market. No one can predict. So if you are 100% invested, you are not at all bothered. There is no stress as to the predicting the market. Anyway, and anyway uh, you can't predict and no one can predict.
in the long term market will go up and up and up and substantially up in the long term so uh why to predict the market secondly even if you have not predicted even if you have invested in index then also you have generated 14% compound returns since the start of the market 70s so if not doing if by not doing anything if you are able to generate 14% returns from last so many years for last 40 years and 14% returns there is no other investment asset where you can generate 14% returns annually for so long so why to take risk why to uh predict the market and you may lose the opportunity so that is one of the uh, one of the advantages of remaining 100% invested always so if you want to sell something buy another thing with the same amount so it cancels out so even if the market goes up the stock you have sold will rise and the stock you have purchased will also rise so it will nullify in the immediate term but over a long period of time term over a long period of term if you have made the right choice right inclusion in your portfolio then definitely the stock what you have sold will underperform with respect to the stock you have purchased so always i always keep matching the buying and selling those who are my subscribers for smart gains smart uh, freedom stocks will appreciate that i have always matched the amount i don't keep anything cash so that was all about the uh thumb rule number 2 and taking a small kind of a pause from this webinar and i want to tell you something about the smart report which we have launched on 22nd of march and this smart report is a part of smart multibaggers we launch such reports when i say launch means we advise we come out with uh, the detailed research report of about 4 to 5 pages in a very simple language of course and uh, we give you all the all the thing required the story the fundamentals of the company the future prospects about the management and also the logic why we are targeting so much of gains in how much time and also the allocation to be provided in your portfolio so uh under smart multibagger we advise about 12 to 15 stocks in a year and uh, most of most of these stocks are published independently in the name of smart report but subscribing to smart multibagger will save you 50% so coming back to the smart report which was launched just 4 days back on 22nd of march 2027 and 2022 only one stock is there in this smart report market cap it is a mid cap stock stock price is ruling between 400 to 500 and target gains are 111% in 50 months and these are conservative target of course risk is medium and prospects company has got very good management and doing very well i should say excellently well company has strong reserves and huge potential to grab the international market it is still a pretty small company and that is why it has huge upside and the market is open not only india but whole world is the market the price of this report is 1000 rupees plus 18% gst that comes to 1180 and there is a one time report we will not review about this report but if required you can any time write to us on whatsapp and we shall provide you the feedback those who are interested can go to the products on our website smartvrc.com under that there is a link for smart report and they can subscribe from there coming back to the webinar rule number 3 is rather i should say the thumb rule number 3 is active portfolio management okay already part of the active portfolio management we have covered that you should always search for the best of the best 16 stocks that is an active portfolio management but there is 
something extra if you want to earn more returns what is the way out okay let me uh, explain you this with respect to the covid covid struck uh, in january 2020 and around february and march stock market stock indices started coming down and many stocks fell like a free knife and this was a down cycle and there was a time when worldwide rate of interest were reduced why the central banks around the world reduce the rate of interest because they want an activity in the economy to increase they want people to take loan and for that to give them some kind of incentive they reduce the rate of interest so that is the way it is done everywhere almost everywhere in the world so that happened but still the economy kept on sliding down and then one more rate cut what we did here smart prc is my firm name what we did here when there were two or three rate cuts this is just for uh, explaining the concept it was not two but it was in reality there were three rate cuts <clears throat> what we did at this point of time now smart gains for the investors who have joined first time i would like to tell them that in smart gains every wednesday we recommend one stock so this was historically from uh, last 22 23 years we have never recommended 10 stocks in a single day 10 stocks in a single day we recommended 10 stocks in a single wednesday on 18 march 2020 yes 6 days before the market made the bottom right we were not knowing that the market is going to make a bottom but we recommended 10 stocks why because the rate the share price of these stocks was were very very low as you can see from the advice price and we thought of two years around one and a half years two years hence we just uh, there were some indications that within a year or so vaccine will be available and just on the hint side we thought that we can if you have the patience for one and a half years two years then definitely you can make a killing and that is the reason and uh, these were the stocks which we recommended 10 stocks and these were the target prices if you see the target prices they were almost 80% about 70 to 80% up from the advice price and target date was 18 months 18 months means one and a half year and you see the stop loss i have intentionally made this in red so as to tell you how confident we were in giving you the advice jk paper was ruling at 89 rupees we gave a stop loss of 45 50% down normally we give about 15 to 20% down but when the markets are so much down people were not buying and we gave a stop loss of 50% here is green play advice price 86 stop loss 40 more than 50% stop loss control trend mahindra epc apollo tire bajaj auto cosmo films 242 rupees and stop loss 110 rupees i believe cosmo films is now more than 1000 rupees so current price is more than 1000 rupees and there was a stock of infosys also advice price was 573 just you can imagine how much conviction how much confidence we at smart vrc had at the time of recommending this stocks how much responsibility we had about the our, our subscribers so that was about smart gains this is about smart multibagger again six stocks were advised in a month normally we advise one or at the most two stocks in a month but here in the month of march we advised six stocks okay before that i would like to tell you this is for smart gains for all the stocks target was achieved very very fast very fast this for smart multibagger 
And here you can see again the same thing. Capri hands. Advice price was 27 and stop loss was 12 and target was 60. More than 100% up. Almost everywhere you will see that the targeted returns were more than 100%. Even up to 200% was also there. So Relaxo Footwear, Cheviot, Mothers and Sumi, Advanced Enzyme, Transpect. So these were the stocks which were advised in a single month. And all for all these, target was achieved. And now the holding period, since there is a multi bagger service, the holding period was a little bit more. It is for two and a half years, it is for three years, like that. So, what is the thumb rule? If there are a couple of rate cuts, that means we are getting near to the bottom of the cycle. That is the time to take the calculated risks. Even at this stage, if a high debt company is able to service its debt comfortably, then it is a time to buy that high debt company. Yes, there is a risk, but the returns are way, way above the kind of risk you're taking. That is how I say the calculated risk. We did it. And then comes an up cycle. And uh, after multiple rate cuts, definitely a stage will come when people will start taking loans, when companies will start taking loans because the rate of interest is very low. And the kind of returns the companies are generating is higher than the rate of interest on loans, then definitely companies will opt for go for debt rather than for equity. And then the, the economy revives and revives very, very fast. And the stage comes when the inflation starts rising. Inflation starts rising because of two reasons. There can be two reasons. One is because of the demand, very strong demand. And secondly, because of the cost push. So initially, after COVID, that is after turnaround in, uh, in the economic cycle, there was pent up demand but also there were disruptions, disruptions in logistics, as you, are, you must have uh, observed, even till date, semiconductor shortage is there. So the same capacity, everything is there, but due to the surge in demand and due to the disruption in the logistics, and now after the Russia and Ukraine war, there is a rise in crude oil prices. Again, there is a rise in crude oil prices, means rise in raw material for many, many companies inflation, the rise in energy costs, all cement companies are facing inflation. So they have increased their cement prices. Similarly, all of MCG companies are feeling the pinch of rising inflation. Now here, there is a twin uh, impact of inflation. One is because of the demand pull and secondly, because of the cost push. That is why once again, worldwide economies want to cool down this economy and that can be done by raising the interest rates. First rate cut has already been made. There will be many more, uh, not rate cut, hike in uh, rates have been uh, made by the US Federal Reserve. There will be many, many increase in interest rates because in US, the interest rate is very, very low and it needs to increase to at least about one and a half or 2%. Up to that, it has to go. In India, we still have a good uh, rate of interest around, people are able to get about 5.5%, 6% on fixed deposits. So in US, they don't have any more leeway in terms of propping up their economy by reducing the interest rate. And also they are feeling the pinch of inflation. That is why they need to increase the rate of interest. Nothing to be worried. As I said, up to four or five hikes in interest rate not to be worried, but you should know where you are in this cycle. Precisely, no one can predict the bottom, no one can predict the top, but at least you should know, broadly speaking, where are you in the economy cycle so that you can take some calculated risks in your portfolio. Even if 
you are unable to locate even roughly on this cycle then also no need to bother you keep on maintaining the top 16 bets in your portfolio and that will also generate excellent results this is for extra high returns if you want to generate extra high returns then you should know broadly speaking where are you on this cycle so after three four uh, rate hikes it's time to shift towards safer stocks safer stocks i mean to the stocks which are low debted that is the time there is no guarantee that market will taper off it is a probability high probability that market will taper off from there because the economic cycle does not works in pure sine wave it that sine wave this bottom can go down also further down also or this bottom can be a lower one also but bottom will be there tops will be there when they will come for how long they will come only broadly speaking you can say that a business cycle normally varies from four years to five years or so six years at the most so that is the way to uh, broadly identify where you are in the cycle so as i said uh, theoretically you will feel that it is very easy to predict the cycle but practically what happens is it is not only the uniformity goes out but also the rate of this cycle may change may taper off or may go upward or even anything can happen so what you will find is that the bottom of this next cycle just for an example the bottom of this cycle may be a near a top of the previous to previous cycle so don't come try to compare the bottom of this cycle with the bottom of the previous cycle so always look for the best stocks the only rough idea you need to find out that how to actively manage your portfolio so these were the three thumb rules and we can help you uh, to become a more smarter in your actions because why we think like this and uh, how we can help you through a stock advisory yes it takes a long time to learn the tricks to learn learn the way to create wealth from stocks in the meantime you need some kind of a mentor some kind of a good advisor and uh, for that we have a stock advisory we also have prepared smart insights pro that is a small small videos also i'm author of the book way to billionaire available in english and hindi book can be purchased from our website all these facilities to subscribe and purchase are available on website also we have got financial freedom calculators it is a free service and do visit smartvrc.com now how we are different we have got a very small team and we have got a cumulative experience of 71 years also we have the ability to find the worth of the stock with reasonably good accuracy that is the prime thing you must know because without knowing the worth of the stock whatever the returns you are getting are by luck by chance we are truly qualified truly qualified means qualified not only in terms of the qualification but also in terms of the experience in terms of the success all our advice is closed loop works in closed loop when i say closed loop that means if we have given you a buy advice there will be a sell call also from our side whether it is a stop loss or whether it is an emergency exit or whether the target has been achieved also we give you the weightage allocation to be made in your portfolio and all the advices are made during the marketers at the ruling prices and we have a very well unparalleled and proven performance with svp delivering 26.5% cagr from last 21 years more about this in the later presentation so the thumb rules three thumb rules just a 
recall the summary whole top 16 diversified stories remain 100% invested and have an active portfolio management this is i would not recommend an investor with less than 15 years of experience to undergo active portfolio management don't do this this can be this can backfire also this comes with experience start steadily with slow uh, implementation of this third thumb rule. So using these thumb rules, this is how we have been able to increase the gap of uh, smart billionaire picks with respect to the BSC sensitive index. Blue colored is smart billionaire picks. This we started with 1 lakhs 21 years ago. And this is the uh, BSC Sensex plotted here from 30th of May 2001 to 25th March 2022. That is still yesterday. In terms of numbers, the performance is like this. Smart Billionaire Picks has delivered compound returns of 26.5% and BSC Sensex during the same period has delivered returns of 14.12%. So these extra returns compared to BSC Sensex, here it may appear to be only 80% better, but 80% better every year for 21 years, that makes the difference. And that is how that difference is uh, visible in terms of the absolute returns we have made. As you can see here, it is only 80% up, but when in terms of the absolute uh, returns, it is 13,390% for smart billionaire picks and Sensex is 1566%. So this is eight times better returns. So one lakh investment in 2001, 30th of May has turned into 134 lakhs till yesterday. So this was about smart billionaire picks, how we use these thumb rules and how we outperform the broad indices. So this was all about the today's presentation. And we want one favor from you. If you have joined for the first time, or if you have a friend who is interested in attending such webinars, and also we are going to uh, distribute free stock report in the coming month, then I request you to send your name and city at this WhatsApp number. It is also visible on my screen, uh, 9755920780. Smart word is don't chase the share price, attract the share price. How? Attract the share price means if you have a stock whose worth is much more than the ruling share price, then sooner or later, share price will attract towards your worth of the stock, towards your stock and it will rise. Thank you for sparing your valuable time. And now there's the it's time for questions and session. Uh, you can use the chat box to put your questions and also you can raise your hand through the link appearing at the bottom of your screen. So there is a question explain. Please explain the economic cycle of a company again. Is it also related to the demand for goods? For example, in case of cement companies, the demand remains subdued during monsoon season. Okay, economic cycle is something different from the season, uh, from the yearly um, uh, demand. As you said, during monsoon, there is a slowdown. But if the economic cycle is at peak, suppose very high, then even during monsoon, if you compare on year on year basis, you will find that the demand is much higher compared to the previous year in the same period. So economic cycle is different and the yearly uh, seasonality is something different. Yeah, any other query? Uh, has market already factored Russia Ukraine war. Okay. Uh, in my thumb rules, uh, how you can find out that the Russia Ukraine war has been factored in? 
one thing is that whenever any event which prolongs for a long time then people forget that event don't i can't say forget but they don't care and secondly in this war no other country is interested to uh, join as of date as on date and india is taking a mid stand so maybe india may not be that much impacted as compared to the other major economies it is possible and thirdly it is an outside event on which i don't have any control i have a control on my strengths my confidence my conviction on the companies i have invested so if i believe that you can you can uh, take help of the case scenarios what do you think of means what is the probability that this war will go to higher proportions if you think that it may go up to 80% there is 80% probability then definitely you should switch to safer stocks but if you think that there is only 20% probability then always keep in mind that if the market falls which are the stocks which will save your portfolio similarly if the market rebounds then which are the stocks which will give you the returns that is the best way to design your uh, portfolio regarding the war uh, i will give you an example about 10 days back uh, an investor after reading my article in smart investments this is a publication from amdavar he called me and asked me mr asdani what do you think how long this war will prolong so i didn't have any answer was how i can know uh what i told him after giving suitable explanation which i think was suitable but uh, he was not convinced so i told him uh, even mr uh, mr putin the president of russia even he doesn't know how long this prolong war will prolong so if he doesn't know then how i can come to that is the best way <laughs> to explain so what is in our hand is to control our emotions to control uh, to design our portfolio depending on outside circumstances you cannot control outside circumstances but you can control yourself how to check the worth of the stock hmm your query is in a single line but even after two days or three days of non stop explanation uh it is very difficult to explain what is the worth of the stock and i keep on giving you an example the same example again and again and once again i am giving you if i ask you how you decide to change the gear of your car from gear 2 to gear 3 can you write it down not possible so exactly that is the way to uh, find out the worth of the stock it comes through experience it comes through success it comes through failures there is no formula it is a it is a mix of subjectivity and objectivity lot many management qualities also play a crucial role in designing the worth of the stock but we can definitely help you we have a uh, smart insights pro videos we have made and under that there is one category with the name of equity research that you can subscribe and from there you can find out how to find the worth of the stock please share your views on paint and footwear companies they most depend on crude price so you have you are asking the question and you have also already already answered also partly since their raw material is derived from crude and crude prices are high uh so in paint because of the strong demand in the housing sector it may not impact immediately but if for long time if the crude prices remain high then definitely there will be an impact but uh, my opinion is that remain away from the paint companies because of the extreme high valuations 
even for the leader, P ratio is, I believe, for all the paint companies, P ratio is about 40 and 50, while the growth rate is hardly about 15%. Yes, Mr. Kamlesh Bhagat, kindly unmute yourself. Hello, good evening, sir. Yes, sir, good evening, sir. Okay, so wanted to ask you one question. Um, when we purchase a good company at higher price in a you know in a booming market, mm -hmm. and because of the short term, जो भी turbulence वगैरह होता है market से, तो वो correct होती है अच्छी खासी twenty percent thirty percent. In that phase, it's very difficult to you know hold that stock. So what are the checklist we should check? मतलब क्या क्या बातें फिर से चेक करनी चाहिए कंपनी के एंड ओ मतलब we should be stay invested in that stock. Okay. Uh, there are companies uh, which regularly keep you updated via their own presentations, via investor conference calls, via the results, via the patents they acquire, and all those things. In those companies, it is pretty easy to have the confidence because you have the latest information available. But there are companies which keep you updated only quarterly or uh, even in quarterly results, if they don't explain the reasons or they don't explain the outcome, they don't give provide the outcome uh, of any major event or their outlook, if they don't provide, then it is really very challenging. But from the dividends, from the interim dividend, from the results, you can make out how the company is performing. And if recently the company has declared the results and the market is stable and your company share price is down by 20%, 25%, and if it, if it keeps on underperforming the market, then definitely you should consider reducing your weightage or even altogether exit from the stock. That is what okay. we do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or uh, one more question. I wanted to ask you last one. Jaysay kuch expert log hote hai or we are retail investors, right? To aise konse study material hum log ne follow karne chahiye to study that stock. Ek thoda sa, ek hamesha ek confidence low hota hai ki apne paas first hand information nahi hai. तो इसे कौन से स्टडी मटेरियल होते हैं कि जो उससे स्टडी करने के बाद वी कैन वी कैन गेन द कॉन्फिडेंस ओके यस यू हैव राइटली आस्क द क्वेश्चन हाउ टू गेट द कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस कम्स फ्रॉम मल्टीपल थिंग्स एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज द डिविडेंड इफ द कंपनी इज गिविंग डिविडेंड पे आउट ऑफ से 20% और 30% देन दैट गिव्स यू अ कॉन्फिडेंस दैट यस द कंपनी इज जनरेटिंग रीजनेबली good returns and those are actual returns because dividend has to be paid dividend to dena padega aapko to aisa nahi ho sakta hai ki company ko koi profit nahi hua hai and company has not made any profit and still it shows that it has made so many so many crores of profit and it declares dividend so it has to pay uh, okay. there is one very important criteria ki company ka 20 to 30% dividend payout hai secondly the management what the management says and what actually happens. So mm -hmm. like in case of Infosys, whatever the management says, often the performance is way above what they say. So that is that is how you get the confidence. And uh, another way to look at it is the past performance, how mm -hmm. the company has behaved during times of COVID, what the company did to protect its margins, to protect its sales and all those things. And how the company is expanding that 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 from last four or five years you can look at the depletion trend then you can find it out how the company is expanding if company is continuously expanding that means then you should have the confidence that yes there is a uh, market for the there is a, a good scalability for the company's operations okay okay thank you just got it sir okay. thank you so much mr balakrishna mr balakrishna kindly unmute yourself Yes, yes, sir. sir. Uh, you said uh, clearly said about the economic cycle. Now the steel prices, uh, steel sector itself totally up. Uh, you mean to say that uh, the sine wave, as you already said, it's now it may not be a perfect uh, sine upside kind of thing. Uh, if, is there any indication for that? 
Okay. Uh, as I said, the the hike in in steel prices is, or even the other commodity prices is mainly because of the cost push, not because of the demand pull. There are uh, there are various reasons why there is a cost push, why the raw material prices are up. Uh, maybe because of the power or because of the disruption and all those things. Unless there is a increase, sustained increase in the products of the economy for a prolonged time, we cannot say that the top has come. So if as long as there is a demand, demand pull inflation, continuously there is a demand pull inflation and then there are four, five, six rate hikes by the Federal Reserve, then it indicates that, yes, we are near to the top of the cycle. I cannot say, yes, it is a top, but near to the top of the cycle. But presently, in the present scenario, there is only one rate of in, uh, rate hike. And whatever hike we are seeing in steel prices or copper or aluminum or whatever, uh, most of the commodities, it is because of the cost push, not because of the demand. So maybe in the short term or in the medium term, there may we may see a depressed economy, but still the top has not come. Okay, any other query? So with this, uh, we come to the end of today's presentation. Thank you very much. And uh, soon we are going to organize uh, one, uh, one webinar for the whole family. Yes, for the whole family. It will involve all your family members. And uh, so uh, soon we will notify you. And probably in the second week of, uh, second week of April, and that is going to be a very interesting and very good webinar. Thank you very much for sparing your valuable time. Bye-bye.